welcome your host on Wipeout, Paul Daniels. Anyway, some people say Wipeout's a tough game. I say it's a doddle. Well, it is if you've got the answers. It won't be quite so easy for the three who are giving it a go tonight. And they are... Roger Hemming, I'm an estate agent from Somerset. I love cooking, but I can't stand sports. Ah, an Eric Cantona fan. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Judith. I'm Judith Goodman, a lecturer in further education from Hertfordshire. My ambition is to go to Australia. Well, if you make it, would you mind nicking the ashes? Because we're not going to get them any other way, are we? <laughs> eh? <laughs> Finally. Oh, who are you? Hi, Paul. My name's Ian Ottley. I'm a stock controller from Mexbury in South Yorkshire. I'm a fanatical Doncaster Rovers fan, and I've seen him at 74 different grounds. Masochist. <laughs> Masochist. You have to be to come on this game anyway. So, all together, play Wipeout. <laughs> is that what all this is about, Ian, is it? All um, this? Same town, different team. Who would you most like to meet, Ian? Well, you, of course, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a winner here. Could be a winner. <laughs> Fingers on the bottom. In which field of the arts is Rudolf Nureyev a f uh, Ian? Ballet. Ballet. Yeah, ballet right. <laughs> You're in charge of the grid. Here's the grid. Misquotes. Answers are... Now then, although all of these quotes appear to be correct, 11 of them are in fact different from the original. And I want you to find the misquotes. OK? The 16 up there, they all appear correct, but 11 of them are different from the original. Play it again, Sam. Play it again, Sam. Yeah. You played it for her, now play it for me. Play it, Sam. That was what was said in the film. Pride goes before a fall. Pride goes before a fall? Pride goes before destruction. £30 on the next answer. Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> yep, it was never, ever said in the TV show. And I'll pass. And you're passing, you've got £60. Roger, you're in. One small step for man. One small step for man. <laughs> Neil Armstrong, and that was the quote. Because his quote didn't make sense, he claims he said the A, and we didn't hear it, but nobody really believes that. So, never mind, Judith. Alas, poor Yorick. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. <laughs> now, you see, what it is is, alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. You've got £40, £50 coming up. Um, you've never had it so good? You've never had it so good? True. It was most of our people have never had it so good. £90 you've got now. Another £60 on this next answer. Go ahead, make my day. Go ahead, make my day. <laughs> it is a wipeout. That's the phrase from the movie Dirty Harry. That cost you £90. Ian, £60 you still have in the bank. What you've got to do is find a misquote. Lead on Macduff. Lead on Macduff. Yes, I knew that one myself. Leon Macduff. Did it for me all levels, you know. <laughs> uh, water, water everywhere. Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. <laughs> the quote is, water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. So you're now up to £190. There's still four correct answers up there and three wipeouts. Elementary, my dear Watson. Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> yep, never said it. Elementary is all the books say. That's all it is. Elementary. And I'll pass that. And you're passing. You've got £270. You had a good run there. Roger, it's over to you. £90. There are three of each up there. Peace in our time. Peace in our time. <laughs> good answer. That was peace for our time. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Out. That's the exact statement of the Terminator. But you will be. You'll be back, because we've got a couple more grids to go. Judith. Vengeance is mine. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. 
Yes, vengeance is mine, I will repay. All right? I think I'll pass. And passing to Ian. Ian, there's only one of those is a misquote. The other two are correct. Fools rush in. Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. There's a wipeout. That is correct. As said by Alexander Pope, you've just lost all the money. Roger, one of each. Pick the right one, you get £110. Cleanliness is indeed next to godliness. Cleanliness is indeed next to godliness. <laughs> John Wesley. So you win a booby prize. Oh, thank you very much. A bar of soap. Nothing personal. <laughs> Not very strong on quotes, am I? Listen, son. Have a look at what the other two have got. <laughs> You are not alone. <laughs> Thank you very much. I shall say no more. <laughs> all right, the last one. Uh, money is the root of all evil. Uh, the quote is, the love of money is the root. So the full quote makes it clear the Bible is not anti-money. OK? Just avarice, OK? Fingers on the buzzers. Who was known as the maid of all in? Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc. Yes, Pinocchio was the maid of wood. <laughs> right. So, grid title is... Men's Pommel Horse. All right, what are the answers? If you were watching the Men's Pommel Horse, which 11 of these manoeuvres might you see on the Men's Pommel Horse? Pendulum Swing. The Pendulum Swing. Yes. Now, the pendulum swing... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they don't bring the real people in for this. You see, he gets hold of it like that, see, like that. And when he's going past it, he goes over like that. Hey, keep hold, you fool. <laughs> he goes all like that, you see, and then he swings like that and back again. It's that one. <laughs> right, OK? Right, ten pound. Uh, double leg circle. The double leg circle. Ah, yes. Well, that's more or less the same thing, but he goes like that, and he goes all the way around, like that. See? With his double legs circling. <laughs> <laughs> back shear. The back shear. Now, the back shear starts off like that, see? And then, it, it sort of, like that, goes around there, see, like that, and goes like that. And then, when he gets there, like that, he comes and finishes like that. <laughs> Could have been like that. <laughs> I'll go for front shear. Front shear? Yes. That's very like... I don't know how the hell they tell the difference. It was, it's that one, you know. Desperately trying to miss the handles as you're going. <laughs> it's enough to extend anybody's arms, isn't it? <laughs> Russian Wender's Wing. Russian Wendy Swing. I don't know how they tell the difference on this lot. He, he's like... He doesn't bend the way they're supposed to. <laughs> Just now. Right. He starts like that, see? And then he goes there like that. And now he's right forward like that on the thing. And he's coming over like that. And suddenly, suddenly his legs disappear on this drawing. And then... <laughs> Then he goes down there and he finishes up like that. Go on, go for the other one. The Wender Swing Forward. The Wender Swing Forward. Right, now then, this is a good one, this. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> well, it's the other one. Forward. <laughs> I'll dodge out to the next one. You've got 210 quid and you're passing to Roger. Roger, it's worth 70 pounds if you can find an easy one for me to do. The Thomas Flair. The Thomas Flair. Yes. He starts off like that. All right. But he can't stay there for long. <laughs> right. And then he really kicks up like that and he comes through like that. 
Yeah. I know, see. <laughs> and then his legs come together like that, and one goes up there. <laughs> and his face changes. If you watch him at the Olympics, <laughs> their face changes at that moment. And then he swings back like that, and he goes, oh, 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 like that, see? And he comes back like that, and then he finishes up with a big swing through, and he lands there and says, I finished now. Because <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? The swing back. The swing back. <laughs> a swing back is one of them big cameras that can be tilted. You know, them big swing back cameras. OK, oh. Judith. Circle inside support. <laughs> You're going to circle inside your support, son. <laughs> oh, they can't be. <laughs> no. Circle inside support. They all look the same. He gets all of it and he goes like that again. <laughs> he must circle inside the support. Oh, that's the one where they go to that end like that and then finish up on that end going like that, you know, circling. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to pass, please. You'd like to pass? Yeah. After what I've been doing to him, I bet he would as well. <laughs> yeah. 210. Um, we'll go for the Schwaben flank. Is the Schwabens flanks one of them? <laughs> Not even worth talking about that, so easy. <laughs> Chagwinian. The Chagwinian. Yes, now the Chagwinian is the one where they go off the end like that, finish up there, and they go right up in the air, and that's when they get dismount like that. You know what I mean? Yes. Right. Would you like to show us? <laughs> A bit too big for that. It's about my size, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pass it to Roger. You've got four hundred pounds. I'd like to keep it. <laughs> We've been fooling all over the place. You've got four hundred quid while my back's been turned. Julie's got hundred and eighty. Roger. Well, you've got a bar of salt. Now, okay. There are how many wipeouts left? Four. That means there's only one. Correct answer. Sheer hog. The sheer hog. <laughs> oh, not another. Please, no. <laughs> a sheer hog is a sheep that has been sheared. OK? And then we woved it into that for you. OK? Thank you. Don't wash it, it'll shrink. <laughs> right? <laughs> The wool. Heartless Gemma Gennay. Judith, you've got £180. Probably soon to say goodbye to that, but I'll try direct Stockley B out. The direct Stockley B out. <laughs> yes, guys. <laughs> You got two hundred and ninety pounds. The direct Stockley B out is so well known. There's no need to demonstrate that. <laughs> and uh, I've got to tell you that at the end of that round, Ian, you're well in the lead with four hundred pounds. <laughs> and we hope you're going to keep it. I don't know. Here's a starter question: Which mythical horse, which has four legs and flies? Pegasus. Very good. Okay. Good interruption. <laughs> You're in control of this grid. Detective partners. Detective partners. Answers are... Which of these have worked as helpers to famous television detectives? Cato. Cato. Was the assistant to... Clouseau. The Green Hornet. <sighs> you got that ten quid by default. <laughs> OK. Sister Steve. Sister Steve. <laughs> Assistant to Father Dowling. You've got £430. The next answer is worth £30. Wait. Still nine answers on the grid. Arthur Hastings. Arthur Hastings. <laughs> Helped Poirot. Sounds too obvious, but Robin. Robin. <laughs> Helped Batman. And he was, after all, a detective. He did detect. 
you now have five hundred pounds. Robbie Lewis. Robbie Lewis helped Inspector Morse. Danny Williams. Danny Williams helped Steve McGarrett in Hawaii Five-O. You've got six hundred and ten pounds. Max. Max. <laughs> Tonight's mystery prize winner will be able to celebrate their appearance on Wipeout with pink champagne and luxury chocolates. That is an award you get here. <laughs> so you got Max from heart to heart. Very good. Well remembered. You got six hundred and eighty pounds. Next answer is worth eighty pounds. Four answers still on the board. I'll give Roger the chance to get that eighty pounds. <laughs> You're so generous, Roger. He's taken all the ones I knew. <laughs> Uh, he's like that. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Again. Right. Um, Paul Drake. Paul Drake? He helped Perry Mason. You have got £80. Next answer worth £90. Three right answers left. Majors Fontaine Lug. I don't know it either. <laughs> Ooh, I'll said pass. the audience. Yes. Helped Campion, who, as you know, was the Wonder Horse. <laughs> <laughs> Judith, you've got £290. <clears throat> There's two correct answers left. Snowy White. Snowy White? <laughs> Dick Barton. I think I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> Name of the game, Wipeout. There are five Wipeouts on that board and only one of the names on the board helped a famous detective. Tinker. Tinker? The audience like it? <laughs> Help Sexton Drake. How's your nerves, Ian? How's your nerves? <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, that was really good. Ian, you've got £790. Judith, you've got £390. Ian, you've got the champagne and the chocolates. But Roger, you come away with a lot of star prizes. You've got the soap, <laughs> you've got the bag, ball of wool, and of course, £170. Thank you. And an umbrella. Famous white album umbrella. Congratulations, you've played very well today. I've enjoyed your company. But Judith and Ian, you're the ones going on to play the Wipeout Auction. <laughs> going to play the wipeout auction game to decide which of you will play for the holiday and that of course is the holiday that the people at home could win as well if you know the answer to this wipeout question which of these was a king of England Malcolm Norman Robert John which of those was a king of England I'll give you our number at the end of the program and you give us a ring and hey you never know you might win so the game moves on and remember everything you've won so far can't be taken away. Ian, £790, you bid first. Bid for this grid. Title? Book songs. Answers? These are all famous book or poem titles, but only eight of them have also been the title of records that have had success in the BBC record charts. How many can you spot? I'll go for eight. <laughs> Well, you can't outbid it, Judith. It's his right to name the eight. If he names the eight, he takes the first grid and it's best of three. Ian. Goldfinger. Goldfinger. <laughs> Shirley Bassey got that to number 21 in 1964. Book by Ian Fleming. Wuthering Heights. Wuthering Heights. <laughs> Kate Bush took that to number one in 1978. Book by Emily Bronte. For your eyes only. For your eyes only. Sheena Easton took that to number eight in 1981, book by Ian Fleming. If. If. <laughs> Telly Savalas took that to number one in 1975, book by Rudyard Kipling. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Dire Straits took that to number eight in 1981, written by Shakespeare. Winter's Tale. Winter's Tale. David Essex, number two, 1982, Shakespeare. You still have two more to find. She. She. By Charles Aznavour, number one in 1974.
book by Ryder Haggard. You have one to name. The Spy Who Loved Me. The Spy Who Loved Me. <laughs> Nobody Does It Better was the film song by Carly Simon. Judith, name the one remaining... Under Milkwood. Under Milkwood? <laughs> no song. Ian, it's back to you. Kim. Kim. The Invisible Man. The Invisible Man. <laughs> Ian's going to kick himself when I tell him. It was Queen. It went to number 12 in 1989. A book by H.G. Wells. There you go. Judith, you got the first grid. OK? Great grid. Now, Judith, it's your chance to bid for the grid or pass that bid to Ian. Here's the title of it. Not Marx Brothers. Let's have a look at the answers. Right. Only four of those names on the board were original members of the Marx Brothers. I want you to find the eight names that were not original members of the Marx Brothers. How many do you think you'll get? Eight. Eight? <laughs> Good count the challenge. Yeah, this is a first. OK, why not? Let's go for it. Julio. Julio was not a Marx brother. Flabo. Flabo was not a Marx brother. Gummo. Gummo <laughs> was. Right. Name one and you've taken a grid back. Rumpo. Rumpo! Really. Shows the other Marx Brothers. Hey, hello. Groucho, Zeppo, Chico and Gummo. Who did you think it was? I thought it was Beppo. Beppo. Nope. Not the original member of the Marx Brothers. And I have to tell you, Ian, you'll be bidding on the final grid. And subject is... Opera Singers. <laughs> Excitement flits across the faces of our contenders as we show them the answers. Not so bad. Eight of these are opera singers. How many can you spot? I'll go for five. Have a bit of five. Six. A bit of six. Seven. A bit of seven. <laughs> Ian, first one. Placido Domingo. Placido Domingo. Montserrat Caballé. Montserrat Caballé. Kiritikanawa. Kiritikanawa. Jose Carreras. Jose Carreras. Joan Sutherland. Joan Sutherland. Two more. Nellie Melba. Nellie Melba. Name one more opera singer and you're playing for the holiday. Maria Callas. Maria Callas, audience likes it. Yes, they are not opera singers. Absolutely wonderful. Judith, you've won £390 and uh, under Brolly, of course, the famous Brolly. And we hope you've had a good time. Certainly yeah. enjoyed your company. You were great. Ian, £790, champagne, chocolates, but now an opportunity to play for the holiday. You've got a minute to win it. Tonight's wonderful Wipeout Star Prize is a fascinating trip to New England. Picturesque villages, rolling meadows and sleepy provincial towns, clapboard houses and churches. New England is a home from home. Visit Cape Cod and Martha's Vineyard and sample the seafood in this wonderful part of the USA. Right, what you do is you get some answers up there. You'll only get 12, OK? You're looking for six of them. Now, I've got those 12 up there. I glance at my question and I go, beep, boop, beep. 
You see? Like that. And I go, beep, wallabies and uh, Tyrannosaurus. And then I come over here, and this is, you push this and to find out how many you've got right, OK? I always get six, because I've got the answers. Right? <laughs> yeah. And um, what have we got I'll here? I'm off here. This is about uh, <laughs> creatures that move on two legs, right? See? Kangaroos, chickens, humans, ostriches, wallabies, gyrants, so all move on two legs. And the others, the wipeouts, are all ingredients in a mixed grill at the BBC canteen. <laughs> <laughs> right. You select from one of these four categories. The categories are Jules Verne, Fancy a Drink, Large States, Cartoon Mice. Um, I'll go for the Cartoon Mice. Yeah? That your sport, is it? So we've got good memory. The answers are... Right. Which of these Disney cartoon characters are mice? Which of these Disney cartoon characters are mice? Mice. You've got 60 seconds, a minute to win it. Your time starts now. Four. Change one. Go for it. Still four. Change one. Same one. Go for it. Anything. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Oh, I've changed that one again, because obviously you're running on the four. You've got to try to find the one that goes up. That goes up. There's another one. Oh, it's great, this. This is good, this is good. Uh, is it? No, it's not going down. Put that back, put that back, put that back. Change another one. No, change the same one again. Change the same one again. The one you change it. Go for what I haven't tried yet. No, you've only got five. Try, try another one. Right. <laughs> 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 Come here. Yeah. He's all right. Keep shouting, Jack. <laughs> right. So let's see what you got right. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. The one you were looking for was... <laughs> Never mind, you did pretty damn good. You got yourself champagne, you got yourself chocolate, you got yourself £790, you got yourself a wipeout umbrella. You done good. Okay. And oh, ladies and gentlemen, you at home can also done good. All you've got to do is ring this number 0891 74 74 74 and say which one of those was the King of England. One winner will be randomly selected from all the correct answers and lines will close at midnight on Sunday. Meanwhile, we'll see you next time on Wipeout. Bye-bye. And Wipeout will be back for a new series in four weeks' time. Next Friday at 7, it's Zoo Watch Live.